Hi, this is Mike, and in this tutorial I'm going to uh, show you how students are going to go in and take an essay test using Blackboard in the most efficient way possible, um, as long as the faculty member has set up the parameters correctly um, to allow students to take a longer test um, and to not have to complete the test all in one go. So I'm going to go into my assignments area because that's where my teacher told me my test was. And that's the link over on the left hand side. And it could be anywhere. It could be in a midterm um, exam folder. It could be, you know, the link is wherever the teacher tells you that it is. And I'm going to go into where I know the test is in this essay example. That's the test that I'm taking today. And now I'm told to click begin to start the test. and if there were any other instructions they would appear here as well. So here I've got the test, um, essay example, and it's a timed test and I start to see the timer right here. Um, six seconds, seven seconds have gone by and I have a five minute time limit. If you have a longer time limit hopefully um, you'll see how long that time is up on top here. And now you can see that multiple attempts are not allowed but forced completion is not on. So the test can be saved and resumed later. So what I'm going to do is, here's my response area, and it's just a one essay test. So I'm going to start my response. And then I'm going to say, oh gee, you know, I can't remember, I can't think of what else to say, I need to take a break, I need to go get a cup of coffee, whatever. Um, what I want to do is save my answer. And once I've saved my answer, I can just go ahead, and if there were multiple answers, you can click Save All Answers. And I don't want to click Save and Submit because that'll submit it. I'm not ready to submit the test. And so I've had a minute go by, and I'm going to go ahead and just log out of Blackboard. And I'm just going to click Log Out. And I'll do whatever I need to do. And now I'm going to say, oh, now I want to go back to the test. So I'm going to log in and I'll log in as my student self and depending on how slow or fast the server is being today you know you might it might take longer uh, to log in or it might take less time to log in and I'll go into my courses <coughs> US Constitution that's the course I'm taking the test for today and here it comes I'll go back into my assignments area and if I do have this home page, I can go into the assignments area this way, and I can see that example assignment right here. And I'll click on that, or I could go in the normal way through assignments. Oh, I'm sorry, that was the wrong one. I'm going to go do it the right way. I'm going to go into assignments. Didn't mean to confuse you. And I'll just scroll all the way down to the bottom and go to that essay example because this is not an assignment, it's a, it's a test, my mistake. Okay, so now I'm going to click on Begin again, and this should look familiar from before. And since my teacher allowed me to um, not complete the exam all at one go, I can return to the test this way. And now you'll notice the stuff that I saved before is here. Here is my response, and I can finish it. And submit it. And you'll notice that the timer has been running this whole time. So now it's 2 minutes and 52 seconds. When I left the exam, it had been just about a minute into the exam. And that's it. I can click on Save and Submit. And it will tell me to confirm my submission. I'll say Yes. And I'll wait for the confirmation message. And there it is. It tells me that my test has been submitted. And it tells me um, that everything is fine um, and I'm done.